It just be a video chart on GYST. Been getting requests on this one, but now um, getting just getting around to it. Um, interesting chart, very nice move that it's made. And today finally started to act human again, pulled back, uh, which I would attribute mainly to profit taking. The reason I say that is if you look back here through essentially this whole period of time where the price was much less than what it was up here, uh, you can see that although not huge volume like this, you know, if you were to add all this volume up, it would um, you know begin to add up quickly. So there's a bunch of people down here that were accumulating shares and, you know, can't blame them when a big move like this happens. Uh, it looks like some profit taking happened that eventually turned into a panic selling. And then, uh, you know, people started to buy it back up here with, uh, you know, bounce at this point. So um, that's kind of what I would say happened today was just simple profit taking uh, based on the number of shares that were accumulated at lower prices. Even if you look at, you know, this huge volume bar here. Uh, the highest anybody paid for shares on that day was uh, 0.0157. Uh, so given that you know today it was up in the 0.025s and 0.02s, you know that's still a, a nice profit from a percentage perspective. And the chart did actually have a pretty nice day today. Before you call me crazy, I'll explain what I mean. Uh, it held where you would want it to see it hold. Um, we had these two previous highs from over here, which uh, became key levels of uh, support. And you can see that the price did um, pull back. And yes, it did drop below it. But we're talking about a daily chart here. So we care about where the close is. So you can see the price did close up above these two key areas of support. So that's a nice little sign of strength of itself. Uh, nothing worse than seeing when pullbacks happen. When they get next to uh, previous highs, they just keep on crashing downwards. But that wasn't the case here. Uh, so a nice little sign of strength in terms of these uh, support levels being able to hold. In terms of, and I to put, put a number on these, we have kind of a support zone, as I'd call it. Uh, the zone going from 0 0.0045 up to 0 0.0169. So, wait, is that right? No, excuse me, 0 0.015 to 0 0.0169. was looking at the wrong numbers there. Um, and then we have the 10-day simple moving average, just a blue line here sloping upwards. That will also provide another level of support. In terms of resistance levels, very straightforward. Just simply the previous high where the profit takers decided to step in um, yesterday. That level is valued at uh, 0.034, and then with a break of that, um, you know this is kind of a tough candle because there's less than 100,000 shares traded. But it does tell us that for whatever reason there was price action up around here, so there might be some more, um, you know, sellers or whatever up here. So with a break of uh, the 0.034, I wouldn't be surprised to see another uh, resistance area up here at the 0 0.04, 0 0.041 area just because for whatever reason there was some price history up there. So uh, that those are the resistance levels that I would uh, keep an eye on. So if there are any other questions on the chart, please let me know. If not, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart set up, straight ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards on a penny stocks. So there's a good variety of something for everybody. It is all free. So I'd encourage you to go to the website, sign up, and see what it's all about. Also, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think about the chart and what your strategy is going forward. One more time, this was GYST. Thanks for listening.